Mystery 3. What does it mean to be a true follower? Near the start of his ministry, Jesus went up the side of a mountain and began to teach his followers. Jesus said that not everyone who calls him Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. That's from Matthew 7 verse 21. In other words, we can't say we believe and then just walk away. To be a true follower of Jesus means that we do more than just listen to him. What do we need to do? Let's look more to Jesus' teachings to find out. Jesus gives us the guidelines we need to be a true follower and seek God's will for us. Jesus said, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7 verse 7. We first need to ask for God's guidance, not once, but regularly, daily. We can come to God and ask about help with anything and everything we need. He knows us and he loves us, and most importantly, he wants to answer us and bless us. Next, we have to listen or seek after God's voice in our daily lives. But how can we listen to God and make sure not to follow the wrong people. Jesus also warned of false leaders. In Matthew 7 verses 15 to 16 he said, you will know them by their fruits. Fruit is a symbol of good works and good behaviour. If a leader behaves badly he's a fake believer. Lastly we need to do what God tells us to put into and puts into our hearts. Jesus 2.19 tells us even demons believe Jesus is Lord, but belief without following isn't the correct behaviour for true Christians. True belief causes following. If people say they believe in Jesus but aren't trying to follow his voice, they may be fake followers. But it can be hard to pick out the fake believers sometimes. We should try to avoid judging others and just work on ourselves. But what should we do? How do we follow Jesus? In Luke 9, 23 to 27, Jesus said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. But what does this mean? Deny yourself. We may have the urge to do something wrong, but that doesn't mean that we have to give in. We can deny that temptation and follow Jesus. He will help us. Take up your cross daily. The cross is a symbol of Jesus' suffering. By following him, we may also suffer from difficult things in life, even persecution or judgment from others. However, when we make choices that please God, he will give us strength to endure the hard things and grow spiritually. Follow me. Jesus said he did only what he saw God doing. We can also ask in any situation, what would Jesus do? And then try to do the same. As we follow Jesus, we find ourselves making better choices and resisting temptations. He will guide us and give us strength. We will find ourselves acting like a new creation.